Hey guys, it's Carrie. Today I am presenting some fun facts about your favorite marine animals. Let's take a look. There'll be fish such as sharks, marine mammals like blue whales, turtles, seabirds, invertebrates, marine reptiles, and much more. Belumni is an extinct marine animal that looks a little like a squid. This Jurassic sea creature was preyed upon by aquatic animals including some dinosaurs and was the ancestor of modern day cuttlefish. Orthoceras. This means straight horn. It is a genus of extinct nautiloid cephalopod. The surface of the shell is ornamented by a network of fine lyrae. Walrus. They inhabit areas in the Arctic that are largely made up of ice. Their massive tusks can break through 20 centimeters of ice. They also assist walruses in climbing out of the water and onto the ice. And to establish a dominance hierarchy among walruses. Goldfish. They are a freshwater fish and commonly kept as a pet in indoor aquariums. Koi. They are a type of cup that are often kept for decorative purposes in ponds and gardens. Jellyfish. They are mainly free swimming marine animals with umbrella shaped bills and trailing tentacles. The bill can pulsate to provide propulsion for highly efficient locomotion. The tentacles are armed with stinging cells and may be used to capture prey and defense against predators. Jellyfish have been in existence for at least 500 million years, making them the oldest multi-organ animal group. Jellyfish are considered a delicacy in some Asian countries where they are eaten. Please subscribe and turn on notifications. Ammonite. These mollusks are more closely related to coleoids like the octopus, squid and cuttlefish than they are to shelled nautiloids such as the living nautilus species. They are excellent index fossils linking the rock layer in which a particular species or genus is found to specific geologic time periods. Nautilus. It is a pelagic marine mollusk of the cephalopod family Nautilidae. Their shells are generally smooth with compressed or depressed wall sections. Moray eel. They live in rocky, intertidal areas, coral reefs, mangroves, and any sandy or muddy bottomed area. Giant squid. The feeding tentacles are much longer than the rest of the body. They have the largest eyes of any animal in the world. Frogfish. They are a type of anglerfish. They are found in shallow tropical and subtropical ocean waters around the world. They can grow to 30 centimeters or 12 inches. Sea star. They have bony calcified skin which protects them from most predators. They have the ability to regenerate limbs. There are a few species that can grow an entirely new sea star from just a portion of a severed limb. Many species are brightly coloured. They are opportunistic feeders and are mostly predators on benthic invertebrates. Starfish have tube feet operated by a hydraulic system and a mouth at the centre of the oral or lower surface. Puffin. They are pelagic seabirds that feed primarily 
by diving into the water. Pelican, this one is trying to dislodge some dry food stuff from inside of the pouch. Sea lion, they are generally found living along the coastlines. They are pinnipeds characterised by external ear flaps, long fore flippers and the ability to walk on all fours, short thick hair and a big chest and belly. They are related to walruses and seals. The largest sea lion is Stella's sea lion which can weigh up to 1,000 kilograms. Pleuroceros ammonite. It has a planulate shell with a quadrate wall section bearing strong radial ribs ending in ventrolateral tubercles. Goliath grouper. They may reach extremely large sizes with lengths up to two and a half meters and weighing up to 360 kilograms. Prawn or shrimp. They are small aquatic crustaceans with an exoskeleton and 10 legs. They are very popular as a food item. Elephant seal are large ocean going earless seals. They can weigh up to 4,000 kilograms. The reduction of their limbs helps them to be more streamlined and move easily in the water. However, on land they are rather cumbersome. Manatee is a large, fully aquatic, mostly herbivorous marine mammal, sometimes they're referred to as sea cows. The manatee has a large, flexible, prehensile upper lip used to gather food and eat and for social interaction and communication. Manatees have shorter snouts than their fellow Cyrenians, the dugongs. Dugong, Australia is home to the largest population. The Great Barrier Reef provides important feeding areas for this species. There is a stable population of around 10,000. The dugong has a fusiform body with no dorsal fin or hind limbs. The forelimbs or flippers are paddle-like. The dugong is easily distinguished from the manatees by its fluked dolphin-like tail and also possesses a unique skull and teeth. Its snout is sharply downturned, an adaption for feeding in benthic seagrass communities. The molar teeth are simple and peg-like, unlike the more elaborate molar dentition of manatees. Half a fish, they can inflate into a ball shape to evade predators. They fill their elastic stomachs with huge amounts of water and sometimes air. Plesiosaurus is an extinct genus of large marine reptile. It lived during the early part of the Jurassic period. Its U-shaped jaw and sharp teeth would have been like a fish trap. Coelacanth is often called a living fossil. They follow the oldest known living lineage of lobe-finned fish. Ichthyosaurus with ammonite. This is made by Carnegie. It was smaller than most of its relatives, measuring up to 3.3 meters. Blue grouper, they are found in the coastal waters of southern Australia. They have a thick body and heavy scales, large tails 
and thick lips. Flying fish, they can make powerful self-propelled leaps out of the water where their long wing-like fins enable them to glide. Pacific white-sided dolphin, also known as the hookfin porpoise. It is a very active dolphin. Atlantic white-sided dolphin. This distinctive dolphin is found in the colder temperate waters of the North Atlantic Ocean. Polar bear. They are classified as marine mammals because they spend most of their lives on the sea ice of the Arctic Ocean, depending on the ocean for their food and habitat. Polar bears are the only bear species to be considered marine mammals. It would be the least aquatic of all marine mammals. Polar bears roam the Arctic ice sheets and swim in the region's coastal waters. They are very strong swimmers and their large front paws, which they use to paddle, are slightly webbed. Some polar bears have been seen swimming hundreds of miles from land, though they probably cover most of that distance by floating on sheets of ice. They depend on a thick coat of insulated fur, which covers a warming layer of fat. Fur even grows on the bottom of their paws, which protects against cold surfaces and provides a good grip on the ice. The bear's stark white coat provides camouflage in surrounding snow and ice, but under their fur, polar bears have black skin the better to soak in the sun's warming rays. Grey whale. This whale feeds mainly on benthic crustaceans, which it eats by turning on its side and scooping up sediments from the sea floor. Grey whales are opportunistic feeders and can easily switch from feeding on plankton to benthic crustaceans. To feed on plankton, they skim the surface with their mouth open. They have two blowholes on top of their head, which can create a distinctive heart-shaped blow. Bacillosaurus is a genus of large predatory prehistoric whale. It was the top predator of its environment, preying on sharks, large fish and other marine mammals. It had teeth and was able to chew its food in contrast to modern cetaceans which swallow their food whole. Trilobite are a group of extinct marine arthropods. Trilobites were among the most successful of all early animals existing in oceans for almost 270 million years. Sailfish. The sail is normally kept folded down when swimming and raised only when the sailfish attacks their prey. Lobster. They have enormous, unequal and specialised claws which help them to defend themselves, attack and catch prey. Their sharp carter claw enables lobsters to tear their prey whereas the crusher claw, which is larger and dented, is used for crushing the food up. Their two potent claws allow these predators to eat a lot of different prey such as small fish, sea urchins, crabs and sea stars. When lobsters lose a claw, a new one grows up with the next smoked. Spiny lobster. They have developed other arms to aid defence, such as sharp thorns all over their body and two horns on their head. They 
are able to produce a loud defense screech by rubbing one of their long antennae against a soft part of their carapace. Blue whale, they reproduce via sexual meiosis. The male and female each produce haploid gametes. Male gametes are sperm and the female gametes are eggs. A single sperm and egg fertilize to form a diploid zygote. After a very elaborate mating ritual, where the male and female spend time rolling around each other, they take a deep dive into the ocean abyss. Suddenly they fly upwards and cross the surface. As they do, the male thrusts his penis into the female's vulva, depositing the sperm. The males have a fibroelastic penis. The retracted penis curves in an S-shaped loop and stays inside the body. When erect, it peeks out of the genital slit. Females have a long vulva with two nipples on each side to nourish newborns. The blue whale is the largest known animal to have ever existed. The female blue whales are larger than the males. A blue whale's age is most reliably measured using earplugs. Blue whales secrete earwax, which is ceramin, throughout their lives, forming long, multi-layered plugs. Each deposited light and dark layer indicate a switch between fasting during migration and feeding. As one set is laid down per year, the number of layers is an indicator of age. Migration may function to reduce parasitism, pathogens and competition. It would improve access to prey in the spring and summer, reduce calf predation by orcas and optimise thermoregulation for growth in the winter. Blue whales capture krill through lunch feeding, a bulk filter feeding strategy that involves accelerating towards a prey patch at high speeds, opening the mouth up to 90 degrees and inverting the tongue, creating a large sac. This allows them to engulf a large volume of krill laden water and then pump out the water between the baleen plates. The African penguin. Like all extant penguins, it is flightless with a streamlined body and wings stiffened and flattened into flippers for a marine habitat. Bull shark. It is known for its aggressive nature and presence in warm, shallow, brackish and freshwater systems, including estuaries and rivers. They thrive in both salt and fresh water and can travel far up rivers. Larger sized bull sharks are probably responsible for the majority of near shore shark attacks. They are large and stout, with the females being larger than the males. Bull sharks are wider and heavier than any other requiem shark of comparable length. They are grey on top and white below. The second dorsal fin is smaller than the first. The caudal fin is longer and lower than that of the larger sharks. It has a small snout and lacks an interdorsal ridge. Lyopleuridon is a genus of large carnivorous marine reptile. It belongs to the clade of short-necked plesiosaurs. It had four strong, paddle-like limbs and was a powerful swimmer. 
its four-flipper mode of propulsion is characteristic of all plesiosaurs. It was an ambush predator and could detect certain smells with its nostrils. Thin whale, the body is long and slender. Fin whales are rorquals, members of the same family as the humpback whale and blue whale. Minky whale, they are the second smallest baleen whale. Only the pygmy right whale is smaller. Cronosaurus is an extinct genus of short-necked plesiosaur. Its teeth grew between 7 and 30 centimetres. The combination of large size, conical shape and lack of cutting edge allows for easy identification of its teeth. Crocodile They are a semi-aquatic reptile with powerful jaws with many conical teeth and short legs with clawed web toes. They have a unique body form that allows the eyes, ears and nostrils to be above the water. Emperor penguin, it is the tallest and heaviest of all living penguin species and is endemic to Antarctica. Queen triggerfish is a reef dwelling triggerfish found in the Atlantic Ocean. Clown triggerfish, it is a demersal marine fish. Clownfish or anemone fish. They form symbiotic mutualisms with sea anemones. The sea anemone protects the fish from predators as well as providing food through the scraps left from the anemone's meals. Boxfish, the yellow colouring, is a reference to their toxins. When stressed, they will release them into the water. Largemouth bass. The largemouth is the largest of all black basses. The upper jaw or maxilla of a largemouth bass extends beyond the rear margin of the orbit. Seahorse. They feature a segmented bony armor an upright posture and a curled prehensile tail. The male seahorse is equipped with a brood pouch on the ventral or front facing side of the tail. When mating, the female seahorse deposits up to 1,500 eggs into the male's pouch. The male carries the eggs for 9 to 45 days until the seahorses emerge fully developed but very small. The young are then released into the water and the male often mates again within hours or days during the breeding season. Seahorses use their long snouts to eat their food with ease. However, they are slow to consume their food and have extremely simple digestive systems that lack a stomach so they must eat constantly to stay alive. They are not very good swimmers and for this reason they need to anchor themselves to seaweed, coral or anything else that will anchor the seahorse in place. They do this by using their prehensile tails to grasp their object of choice. Megalardin means big tooth. It's an extinct species of mackerel shark that would have lived approximately 23 
to 3.6 million years ago. It is regarded as one of the largest and most powerful predators to have ever lived. Their teeth were thick and robust, built for grabbing prey and breaking bones. It would have targeted large prey such as whales, seals and sea turtles. Megalodon most likely used its strong jaws to break through the chest cavity and puncture the heart and lungs of its prey. Megalodon prefers warm waters, so it is thought that the oceanic cooling associated with the onset of the ice ages, coupled with the lowering of sea levels and resulting loss of suitable nursery areas may have also contributed to its decline. Mosasaurus is an extinct group of aquatic squamate reptiles. Mosasaurus was equipped with robust jaws capable of swinging back and forth and strong muscles capable of powerful bites using dozens of large teeth designed for cutting prey. Its forelimbs were shaped into robust paddles to steer the animal underwater. Its tail was long and ended in a downward bend and a paddle-like fluke. Pliosaurus, I call this one Predator X. Their diet would have included fish, cephalopods and marine reptiles. Some species grew up to 10 metres long, with skulls approximately 2 metres in length. They had large teeth, up to 30 centimetres in length, and jaws that would have been devastating against large prey like plesiosaurs, ichthyosaurs, other pliosaurs, and quite possibly giant fish. Xyphactinus. It is an extinct genus of large predatory marine bony fish. It grew to about 5 metres. It had large jaws and strong front teeth for catching slippery prey. Piranha with its sharp teeth is indigenous to the Amazon basin. Sally Lightfoot Crab. They are brightly coloured coastal scavengers found in the Galapagos Islands and across the western coast of South and Central America. Blue Crab. Males and females are easily distinguished by the shape of their abdomen and by colour differences in the chelly pets or claws. Hermit crab. They are decapod crustaceans that have adapted to occupy empty scavenged mollusk shells to protect their fragile exoskeletons. King crab, they are a taxon of crab-like decapod crustaceans, chiefly found in cold seas. Because of their large size and the taste of their meat, they are a popular food item. Dungeness crab, it typically grows to 20 centimeters across the carapace and is a popular seafood. Their carapace can grow to 25 centimetres wide. Salmon. They are anadromous. They hatch in fresh water, migrate to the ocean, then return to fresh water to reproduce. Salmon eggs are laid in freshwater streams, 
typically at high latitudes. The eggs hatch into sac fry. The fry quickly develop into par, P-A-R-R, with camouflaging vertical stripes. The par stay for six months to three years in their natal stream before becoming smolts, which are distinguished by their bright silvery colour with scales that are easily rubbed off. Only 10% of all salmon eggs are estimated to survive to this stage. The smolt body chemistry changes, allowing them to live in salt water. While a few species of salmon remain in fresh water throughout their life cycle, the majority are anadromous and migrate to the ocean for maturation. Octopus They have a complex nervous system and excellent sight and are among the most intelligent and behaviorally diverse of all invertebrates. They trail their eight appendages behind them as they swim. The siphon is used both for respiration and for locomotion by expelling a jet of water. Octopus inhabit various regions of the ocean, including coral reefs, pelagic waters and the seabed. Most species grow quickly, mature early and are short-lived. In most species, the male uses a specially adapted arm to deliver a bundle of sperm directly into the female's mantle cavity, after which he becomes senescent and dies, while the female deposits fertilized eggs in a den and cares for them until they hatch, after which she also dies. They defend themselves against predators by expulsion of ink, they use camouflage and threat displays. They are able to jet quickly through the water and hide. All octopus are venomous. Great white shark, they are found mainly in coastal waters. They have been known to breach the surface and prefer warmer waters. These massive predators can reach lengths up to 6 meters long and weigh up to 3,000 kilograms. The females tend to be larger than the males. The massive bodies of great white sharks are streamlined and powerful to generate bursts of speed. Goblin shark has a highly protrusible jaw containing prominent nail-like teeth. Killer whale belongs to the oceanic dolphin family, which it is the largest member. Humpback whale has a distinctive body shape with long pectoral fins and a knobbly head. It is known for breaching and other distinctive surface behaviours making it very popular with whale watchers. Courtship rituals take place during the winter months following migration towards the equator for summer feeding grounds closer to the poles. Males gather into competitive groups around a female and fight for the right to mate with her. Whale song is thought to have an important role in inducing estrus in females and in mate selection. It may also be used between males to establish dominance. Humpback whales are polyandrous, with a female having multiple male partners over the course of her lifespan. Females typically breed every two or three years. They are found in oceans and seas around the world. Humpback whales typically migrate up to 25,000 kilometers each year. They feed in polar waters and migrate to tropical or subtropical waters to breed and give birth. Giant cattlefish 
is endemic to southern coastal waters of Australia. They are experts at colour change for camouflage. Reef squid? They have been shown to communicate using a variety of colour, shape and texture changes. Cow-nosed ray are usually found in large schools near the surface. Blue-spotted ray, they have large protruding eyes and venomous spines positioned well back on the tail that may produce a very painful sting. On the rising tide, they will often forage over shallow sandy areas searching for food. Marbled ray is an ambush predator. Manta ray are large rays reaching up to 7 meters in width. They have the largest brains and brain to body ratio of all fish. They are found in warm, temperate, subtropical and tropical waters. Stingrays are a group of sea rays which are cartilaginous fish related to sharks. They are mostly found in coastal tropical and subtropical marine waters throughout the world. The mouth of the stingray is located on the ventral side of the vertebrate. Their teeth are modified placoid scales that are regularly shed and replaced. Sea turtle? There are seven existing species of sea turtles. For each of the seven types of sea turtles, females and males are the same size. There is no sexual dimorphism. In general, sea turtles have a more fusiform body plan than their terrestrial or freshwater counterparts. This tapering at both ends reduces volume and means that sea turtles cannot retract their heads and limbs into their shells for protection, unlike some other turtles and tortoises. However, the streamlined body plan reduces friction and drag in the water and allows sea turtles to swim more easily and swiftly. The leatherback sea turtle is the largest sea turtle, measuring up to 3 metres. Its carapace is covered by oily flesh and flexible leather-like skin, for which it is named. Red-eared slider turtle has a carapace length of up to 28 centimetres. It can slide easily into the water. Kemp's Ridley sea turtle. It is the smallest of all sea turtle species, only growing to 70 centimetres. Now when I moved this box, I found some killer whales and a say whale behind it. Killer whales can be found in all of the world's oceans in a variety of marine environments from Arctic and Antarctic regions to tropical seas. Killer whales are apex predators as they have no natural predators. They are highly social. Although the term orca is used, English speaking scientists often use the traditional name of killer whale. And here's one breaching the water. Say whale is a baleen whale 
the third largest rorqual after the blue whale and the fin whale. And some of my newer sea animals. Megalodon. And another Megalodon. This one's by Papo. Anglerfish Liviatum Cooper Osiris Bellum Knight Orthoceros Koi Shrimp Hermit Crab Giant Squid Kemp's Ridley Hatchling Leatherback Turtle and Noma Lacaris. Sealer cats Angel Shark Humpback Calf Green Sea Turtle Please stay and watch another video with me I love to read your comments Thank you for watching my video See you again soon See you guys in my next video